All right, as you can see on the uh, right hand side here of my screen, I have all of the uh, painting bottled, uh, scanned in. Uh, it's a total of 42 images. And what we want to do now is try and puzzle piece that together. Uh, you need to open up Photoshop or whatever image development uh, tool that you have. And uh, the first thing you need to do is go to your canvas and see what size that is. And you always need to create something that is larger than your piece so you have a little bit of playroom. Um, my canvas is uh, one that I stretched myself, which is 52 by 64. So you open up Photoshop, create a new document, and set it to inches. And let's make it, uh, if it's 52 across, we're going to make that 60. And 64 across, we're going to make 75. Uh, there's no real rule of thumb for this, you just need to actually make sure you've got play room. And make it 300 uh, pixels per inch, or DPI, and uh, the RGB should be at 8-bit. Uh, you can set it to 16-bit with billions of colors, but it is going to make a humongous file. Uh, you can see already that this file is 1.13 gigs without even having anything in it. This is going to become a huge file. So you need to have a machine that has fairly decent RAM or a lot of t uh, patience, uh, maybe even some coffee. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take all of these files and get them into here. Make sure they're turned around the right way and then I'll come right back. Alright, we've got the uh, document right here and uh, as you can see I've, I've been opening up all of these scans and usually I just put them into the trash can for the time being. Um, be careful when you do that because you never know what might happen. You might need them again. Um, open up all of these files. This is just to show you the process a little bit more. As you can see, the scans have come in very clearly, um, higher than any um, regular camera could ever pick up. Um, File, which is the one, as you can see over here, it's the one with all of the layers of all the other pieces that I've put in so far. Go back to here, you select all of it, copy, move over, and paste. Then delete this one, go to the next piece, copy, paste. Close this one over, copy, paste. And just keep going until you've got all of your pieces. It's always such a nice feeling when you get these certain, you know, stages completed, you know. Because now all we've got to do is get this thing puzzle piece together. The one thing you always have to keep in mind as you do this is the payoff. And, and the payoff is so rewarding. You can't believe it when you see how beautiful your um, image looks digitally. And also from a record standpoint, when you um, sell a painting you know i don't know about you but it's very difficult for me to let them go and um, this way it's a lot easier for me to let it go because i have this beautiful representation of it digitally that i can use in other areas okay so now i have all of my images all scanned in delete all of those put them in your trash can and uh they're all on this one document right here Okay, so you can see each one of the pieces all in the center. See the layers right here? And we're ready to roll. What's the first thing you always do? Save your file. For goodness sake, please save it. Um, save it wherever you want to. Um, in this case, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Save as bottled. And uh, depending on your machine, that might take a while. As you can see down at the bottom here, you may not be able to see it. It says that the file size is uh, 1.19 gigs. All right, our document is saved. And now we have to try and get our pieces together. So, we just start moving them around. And if you did them in order, uh, you should be able to uh, get these pieces matched up together fairly easily. It's gonna take a little while. 
always a great feeling when you find a corner piece. There's a corner piece. You see how, what I mean about needing the little extra room on your canvas just so you can get it all into position. Guestimate your painting together. I'm seeing a hole here. Can you see? Remember, I told you that there would definitely be holes. Here we see two holes, and I will need to rescan probably for those pieces. There's another hole here, I think. Just keep it all very rough to start with. Another hole. Some of this, this looks like I've turned the scanner around. So with these pieces, you select them all, uh, you, just by dragging over them, and go to edit, and rotate 180 degrees. This is the point where I think I turned the scanner around. You've got your coffee. doesn't have to be perfect, in fact, not even slightly perfect, because there's no way it wasn't done with a computer, you did it yourself, so there's no way this is going to be a perfect science. Alright, I think I scanned in this first image a couple of extra times, so you can just delete those. Alright, so there we have our image, you can see there's some holes, this is why I said you need to go back and do your rescanning, uh, but don't do it yet. Okay, and this is the next process. First thing that you need to do, as always, we've moved all these pieces and got them where they need to be. Uh, you save your document. Not stuff on document. You have to be in Photoshop. Save your document. Very important, you don't ever want to lose um, a whole bunch of work that you've done. Um, I recommend if you have a, not very much RAM, maybe only one or two gigs of RAM, that you save your document after every time you piece something together. Like, it's that serious because if you lose work, you could be, um, especially with a monster file like this, you could be missing out on you know, losing a lot of work. And uh, trust me, I've been there, I've done it, and it's awful. Okay, so what we do is we need to now um, deselect a whole bunch of these things so we don't see them. So what you do is you roll over them and uh, you just start uh, closing off those files. The only reason why you do it is because uh, you just don't want to be uh, overly cluttered with what you're doing. It should be a fairly easy process to do. You just turn them off all of these. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work on these first two pieces. So again, just go to these and cut them off. Okay, so here we have two pieces. Uh, zoom in. So you can fill up your screen. And then you need to select the, the, the layer that is on top and make it at 50% opacity. Now the first thing you need to do with this is try and piece it together, try and find where the pieces are together. Sounds really difficult, but it's not. You can see here there's a little blemish. That blemish appears to be this blemish on this layer. So you just try to join them up. If that's not it, which actually in this case it isn't, you need to find another blemish. 
uh, in fact there is the blemish mark I use this blemish mark right here do you see and it places into it okay the next thing you do is you zoom up to that blemish point which is here see how oh, the dog hair see now you know I own a dog and uh, what you do is you go to uh, transform um, or you do uh, control T which is what I do 